what living ethically is about is about not just thinking about yourself, but putting yourself in the position of other beings who are affected by your action. Any tradition of ethical thinking that starts to take, if you like, a broader perspective, sometimes you could call it point of view of the universe, will start to realize that, well, I'm just one being here among a lot of others. There's nothing so special about me that somehow my sufferings are more important than your sufferings or anyone else's suffering of the people out there, or for that matter, of the animals. Then we have to ask the question, well, well what's so different about us? Uh, I mean, admittedly, we have capacities to reason and to use language that exceed any non-human animals, but, I mean, that's not enough. For me, what's crucial is that we share with them the capacity to suffer, and particularly the animals we eat, the, the pigs and cows and chickens and so on. There's no doubt that they can feel pain, and there's no doubt that they do feel pain in the way we rear them and produce them. That's why I don't think we can ethically justify eating them. So I, I don't think we can just sort of turn our heads and say, you know, please don't tell me about it. I think it's very often in our interest to have ethical standards and to act in accordance with them. That's good for us in our relations with others because people respect us because of it and get to know it. It's also good for us in terms of our sense of satisfaction and fulfillment with life.